Today we're going to look at mods that affect one of my favorite pieces of Skyrim, the Dragon Priests, as I think I'm going to move through the game and then choose different things and share mods that I think are good that relate to them. Unfortunately, no matter how much I like Dragon Priests, there are very few mods that relate to them and less even that are good, and so it actually makes it a perfect place to start. The first mod, named after the enemy it affects, Dragon Priest, is a 4K texture replacer mod. Not much to say past that, you can see the differences on screen now. It doesn't look to change the appearance, but really just cleans it up, especially in the portions of fabric. It just looks better, and when you play the game at higher resolutions, a mod like this is invaluable. The mod also has a couple of performance options, so there's a 4K, a 2K, and a 1K texture, and even at 1K, it looks really good. Now, within Skyrim, there exists two different types of Dragon Priests. We have the generic NPCs and the uniquely named Dragon Priests. Now, 4K textures are all well and good, but for those named Dragon Priests, let's show them a little bit of love and respect and make them look a little distinct. And for that, we'll use Dragon Priests Enhanced. This is a mod with a much larger scope to it, but inside of it, it will add texture variation so that each Dragon Priest will look different from the generic rabble, but also look different to each other. But the mod doesn't stop there, and with Dragon Priests Enhanced, we'll be adding a unique staff, a new spell, a new ability to each of them to further change up each of the fights so that they all feel different, as well as a nice touch of injecting some Dragon Priest themed loading screens into the game. Overall, Dragon Priests don't quite need a difficulty bump independent to the rest of the game. I mean, even by default, they are more powerful than most of the dragons, but they do benefit from variation between them, which this mod gives. Now these named Dragon Priests are few, they're powerful, they're iconic, and while they're great on their own, their true purpose is to be killed so that we can loot their masks. The Dragon Priest masks are as important as the Dragon Priests themselves, and those masks are pretty bland looking, and this next mod might actually be one of my favorite graphic related mods ever, as it alters the more subdued masks found in Skyrim into some real nightmare fuel. Unique Dragon Priest Masks HD Textures, and I think this one speaks for itself. 10 unique Dragon Priest masks that can be installed in one of two ways. As a straight texture replacer, and this will replace the masks that they're actually wearing, so the named Dragon Priests will be wearing these abominations, or as a standalone mod that adds them as craftable items, so the Dragon Priests will wear the standard default ones, but you'll be able to craft these insanely crazy items. Or you could even install both of these, and then even if the enchantment that you want for your build doesn't match up with the enchantment that you like, you can craft craft your own and then enchant it so that it somehow matches your outfit better or whatever. I just love this mod. I think that these are awesome textures on their own, but they just further differentiate them from the generic Dragon Priest rabble. And just looking at these masks make you go, oh shit, this Dragon Priest is, he's a big deal. So the Dragon Priest masks obviously have very powerful enchantments attached to them. I don't advocate for mods that change these enchantments up unless you're specifically looking for a specific bonus to a specific build. I just think that that's something that's left up to taste. But what I will say, and a problem that I have found, is that by default, they're all classed to either light armor or heavy armor, which for mage-type characters is a problem, as there are perks that require you to be equipping no armor for them to even function. And this is an even larger problem if you're using a perk overhaul like Ordinator. And so for that, I recommend Dragon Priest Mask Fix, which only changes the mage-inclined masks to have a clothing class, as opposed to light or heavy armor and allows certain perks to function. However, if lore and realism are too important to make a change like this that turns these seemingly heavy metal masks into light or armorless types, there is a gameplay-esque mod that does help solve this problem and adds a bit of functionality. Craftable Dragon Priest Masks. This adds a cave into the game that has a special transmutation table, and this is separate from the normal crafting, so it's not going to clutter up your smithing menus. From this table, you are able to alter, not craft new, alter Dragon Priest masks into heavy, light, and armorless variants of that same mask, or even invisible as a kind of makeshift hide helmet option. And this is all done through different recipes that require the base mask as well as some secondary materials to even use. 
And the strength of this mod is that it just adds functionality that enables tons of builds, builds that you might not even think of. We've all done really weird Skyrim builds, like I'm playing a merchant who only wears heavy armor because I'm super paranoid about taking damage, but I'm a speechcraft character. And so this just enables weird ass builds, and I like that. And I find that requiring the base masks just kind of keeps this in check balance wise, even though balance in this game is a joke anyway. And like that, we're done here. As I started the video, there aren't a ton of Dragon Priest themed mods worth mentioning, even dipping into some classic mods here, and this is really it. This is a damn shame, really. Dragon Priests are rad as fuck. So that's gonna do it for me. Until next time, this is Fever. Perf.